When it comes to retirement, do you want to have the same old plan everyone else has? Of course not. You're unique and have your own goals and dreams. Don't be treated like a number. This is your retirement. So it's time to think differently. And you're in luck because you found the Retire Your Way podcast with Dave Lopez, founder and managing member of ILG Financial. At ILG Financial, you won't find generic run-of-the-mill plans containing the same old cookie-cutter solutions. Dave and the ILG Financial team focus on building one retirement plan at a time using their Think Differently philosophy. And that means your own comprehensive plan with customized solutions built to achieve just one goal, yours. So put on your Think Differently hat and get ready to take back control of your retirement today and for all the tomorrows to come. ILG Financial's Retire Your Way podcast was created just for you, and it's starting right now. Thank you so much. Coming to you from the ILG Financial Studios, this is Retire Your Way, the podcast that gives you straight talk and honest answers about how to achieve your financial goals through smart investing and careful planning. Glad to have you along with us today. We've got some valuable information for you that could change your financial life for the better. My name's Jeff Shade, and I'm just here to ask the questions, but of course, the words of wisdom and solid advice come from Dave Lopez, founder and chief investment officer of ILG Financial. How you doing today, Dave? I'm doing great. Sure glad to be here with you. Boy, these are crazy times, and I think it's good to be together, and it's good to be on the air to give some information to folks. I know a lot of folks are worried with what's going on as of this recording. We're March 20th today, and I look forward to this show together. Likewise, too, Dave. And you're right. A lot of people want to know what's going on. And as we said in the past show there, I mean, things change day by day, week by week, month by month. So there's really no way for us to tell what's going to happen because we've never been here before. We've never, I mean, at least in my lifetime that I can remember, ever had such a downturn in the market as a result of something medical like this, sort of like a virus. So uh, that being said, Dave, uh, give us a little recap of where we are in the market. I know you can't tell us what to expect, but how has this affected the market in general? You're right. It is unprecedented times. This has not happened. We've had market corrections, haven't we? But never for this. But one of the things I want the listeners to understand that even though the event is unprecedented, the reactions to the market and the market corrections are not. So in this particular instance, uh, you know, we've this all started roughly January 11th. That was China's report of their first death. By January 20th, other countries had confirmed them. And then things progressed from the 30th. By February 2nd, first reported deaths outside of China. And we've known what's happened since then. By March 17th, China now had already kind of crested and started to reopen some schools and stores. So this is completely new to us. But what I mean by it's not unprecedented as far as market corrections and how the markets perform is other events Several have had the same thing. So, for example, if I look at or you look at the biggest one-day drops in the Dow as a percentage of how big the Dow is, this isn't even the top one. It's the third. In 1987, October 19th, the Dow dropped over 20-plus percent in one day. October 28th, 1929, it dropped over 12 or 13 percent roughly in one day. And this event is a third, so it's really one of the biggest. But then there's been several. October 29th, 1929, we had a drop of over 10%. 1931, we had one of over 10%. March 12th of 2020, and then several others. So my point is, this type of thing has happened before, right? The Bible says there's nothing new under the sun. Mm -hmm. And the cause is unique, but we've been through economic situations like this before. Now, what makes it different? Well, let's take 08. 08, what happened was we had bank failures with the Lehman Brothers and stuff like this. This one is actual human deaths, which adds a huge issue on the panic side in addition to just the economics. But the other challenge from the economist side is that it's very difficult to quantify moving forward how this is going to play out, right? With a bank, we can start to quantify, well, if this bank goes under, they're worth this much, and this will happen, and we can make some guesses is what really the economists do. But here, we do not know how this is going to spread. We don't know how bad it's going to get. And uh, one of the investment fellows we work with said, with other corrections, we have unknowns, and we can start to quantify them. The challenge here is we have unknown unknowns. We don't even know what's going to be happening. So that creates a lot of panic moving forward. But there are some things we can latch on to. So I'll give you an example. 
when we look at how the markets correct, there's really one of three ways these, the market can correct. One of them, and if you're listening, just either visualize this or if you've got a piece of paper, just draw it on the paper. If you draw the letter U, it's a, called a U-shaped correction, which is the market tanks and continues to go down. And then when it goes down, it slowly recovers over a period of time. That could be three months or six months or a year, but it slowly turns up in a U-shape for a long-term recovery. The second time, I would write on your paper a V-shape. A V-shape is when we have this sharp crash, just like before, just like with the letter U, but then it immediately jumps right back up. And that could happen if, let's just say that in next week, all of a sudden, some, they come out and they say, we've got a vaccine, it's 100% effective, and no one will ever get this again. We could very well see a V-shape. I don't think that's going to happen. But that would be an example of a V-shaped recovery. And then the third type that most people don't plan on, but we want to plan on this, is what we call an L-shaped recovery. An L-shaped recovery is we have this correction, and then the market stays low for an extended period of time. And you can look at the Nikkei, how it performed back after roughly 1989. It crashed, and it stayed down for years before it finally started its recovery. So that's a, a likely possibility. The takeaway here is when you're building your retirement plan or working with your advisory team, you want to make sure you build a plan out where you can survive any of these type corrections because we don't know which one's coming. Does that make sense? It makes a lot of sense, Dave. And I've written down here that U, that V, that L, and I'm trying to figure out which one of them we're in right now. Well, that's the good question is that we don't know, right? right. We don't know how this is going to play out and nobody knows. So first thing I would tell someone, and this is my opinion, right? I always want to quantify that is I would be very leery of someone who's going to tell us how this is going to play out. Nobody right. knows how this is going to play out. So what you want to do is, and what we talk to our clients is, you want to plan on all three of those scenarios. A lot of things uh, in D.C., you know, a lot of our clients are ex-military or current military, and it's very easy for me to work with those folks because they're used to this when you're going to war and they talk about theaters of war. One of the things they've expressed upon me is when they plan on some type of a mission, they build out the plan of how they think it's going to go, and then they say, now, when everything hits the fan, mm -hmm. right, and things go sideways, Ways, what are we going to do? So what they try to do is plan out every contingency so they're not surprised when they're in the middle of a firefight. We want to do the same thing with our clients. When we build out your plans, we want to say, hey, we hope we have a V-shape recovery. But let's build your plan out so that you can still pay for the electric and the heat and the food without any pressure. If we have a U-shaped recovery, let's build out a plan, Jeff, so you can still make your car payment and enjoy time with your wife and your family, even if we have an L-shaped recovery. We want to be able to survive all three, and that's what I would suggest for our clients. Build out a plan where you can survive all three scenarios. That's Dave Lopez of ILG Financial. And I also think, uh, Dave, the Bible says something about not building your house on shifting sands. You've got to sort of have a good basis, too. We're going to take a quick break, Dave, a little over 60 seconds. We'll be right back and talk more with Dave Lopez of ILG Financial about your finances and this virus and how it affects your portfolio. All that and more when our podcast continues after this. You're one step closer to learning what a customized retirement strategy can do for you. Stay tuned for more of ILG Financial's Retire Your Way podcast with Dave Lopez. Are you concerned about running out of money in retirement? Hi, this is Dave Lopez, managing member of ILG Financial. We want to show you how to avoid the simple mistakes and common misconceptions that can jeopardize your retirement. At ILG Financial, we think differently about retirement planning and think you should too. We'll start by helping you understand how your money works so you can feel more confident about your finances. We'll help protect what you have and explore growth opportunities without taking unnecessary risks with your nest egg. We'll be transparent and shine a light on your biggest retirement expenses like taxes and hidden fees. Call us today to schedule your complimentary review at 540-720-5656 or go to ilgfinancial.com and download a free copy of our Little Red Book of Retirement. That's ilgfinancial.com. Investment advisory services offered through Alpha Star Capital Management, LLC, a registered investment advisor. Alpha Star and ILG Financial are independent entities. Income 
legacy, growth. It's all right here at ILG Financial, and it's about helping you plan for retirement your way so you can achieve your financial goals. Call ILG Financial at 540-720-5656 or go online to ilgfinancial.com to learn more. Now back to the Retire Your Way podcast with Dave Lopez. Welcome back to Retire Your Way with Dave Lopez of ILG Financial. By the way, if you would like a complimentary financial plan from Dave, maybe a chance to sit down, talk with Dave about your personal situation, you can do that by calling 540-720-5656, 540-720-5656, no cost and no obligation. Dave, I talked about not building the house on shifting sands, and you don't build it on a rocky path either. This market has been a shifting sand or a rocky path, so basically that gets to in your plan, you probably want to have a solid foundation, a solid footing, at least for the things that are necessities, food and shelter, you know, that sort of thing. You should. And this is, a, I can't think of a better depiction of what we espouse when we talk to our clients, and which is as you get near or in retirement, all the rules for investing change. And what has worked in the accumulation phase may not be what works now that you're ready to retire or in retirement. So here's the real life current example. The market's going down significantly. If you're 30, 35 years old and you're in retirement, uh, you're not in retirement, you're working and you're planning to work another 20 years, this is a non-issue, right? Continue to put money in your 401k or your IRA or your savings. You're literally buying stuff on sale. It doesn't matter if it continues to go down. Historically, the market has always recovered over time, even if it took 20 years. You've been buying market down and you've got 20 years to wait until you retire. If you're five years from retirement or one year or in retirement, it's a whole different story. We don't have 20 years to wait, right? So we should have some of our assets in vehicles that are not going to go down so that we can use that money for any income need or any possible emergency need and not have to worry about where the market is. And that will enable you to have other funds that you don't need for income or emergencies or long-term care. That money can be in the market because you too, like a 35-year-old, could leave that money for 10 years if you needed to. Dave, I think the big elephant in our studio here today that we're sort of ignoring, and I'm going to go ahead and acknowledge this elephant, people are probably looking at us and going, hey, you know, this is all great information. Really appreciate that. But the big question I have right now is, what do I do? What do I do if I'm in this situation now? Do I buy, sell, hold? What do we do? Yeah, that's a great question. And boy, I wish I could have one answer for everybody on the podcast. Now, here's the good news, Jeff. I do. The answer is it depends on your goals. It depends on your risk tolerance, right? And it depends on your specific situation. So what if you do? You call us. Call our office and let's build out a comprehensive retirement plan that includes future income need, emergency need, inflation hedge, long-term care planning, legacy, and fund money. Let's build out that plan, look at where we are, and I would propose to you, Jeff, once we are all in agreement on those needs for you, and we can quantify them, and what I mean by that is we can put a dollar value for how much income you need or how much you need for your fund money in the future. Now it's going to be very easy to decide what to do. Do I buy? Do I sell? Do I move some to safety? Do I move more in the market? But until you know those things, until I know your goals, until you're clear on what you want to do over the next 30 years, then how in the world would you know a right answer? That's exactly right. I mean, you've got to have a plan. You've got to know where you're going. It's sort of like getting in a car. I think we were talking about this earlier. You get in the car. Where are you going? I don't know. Is the car in good shape? You had to check? I don't know. You got gas in the car? I don't know. (laughs) Always good to have a plan, to have a solid foundation. You wouldn't get in your car with a blindfold on and head off on a trip. You want your eyes wide open on the road and have a plan for things to work out right. And it's never a bad time to get a second opinion or a second set of eyes on your plan. Again, Dave Lopez is offering that at 540-720-5656, 540-720-5656. You can also request your plan online at ilgfinancial.com. So, Dave, what is sort of the takeaway from this whole conversation? I mean, we're in unprecedented. We've never sailed these waters before. I mean, should we just quell our emotions, sit back and relax and plan for the worst and hope for the best? No, I wouldn't do that. You want to be proactive, right? But proactive doesn't mean acting on emotion, fear, or greed. Proactive means assessing the current situation and then looking to make an educated decision based on fact and data. 
So the takeaway is, and you couldn't have said it better with that analogy with the car, Jeff, is I tell folks that if you're nervous, if you're panicking, that's your brain. Your subconscious is giving you signals that you don't have all the data you need. You've got too many variables, and you're right to be nervous, right? That's a natural response that the humans have that has been wired into us to protect us from a saber-toothed tiger, right? It Mm -hmm. keeps you alive. So don't ignore that and just say things will probably be fine. That's like putting your head in the sand. If you're nervous, it's because it's your subconscious telling you you haven't built out a comprehensive plan that you're comfortable with. Our clients are calling me for reassurance that the plan's working as designed, but for the most part, they've already walked through this scenario. We know how it's probably going to go, and we're looking and seeing, hey, is this going as it was designed to go? So if you're nervous, if you're not sure what to do, if you're not sure how to behave in this situation, then my suggestion would be call the office and ask for us to start building out a comprehensive plan, and we will do it the exact same way we did it when things were good. We'll do it the exact same way when things are poor. But once you have a plan that's built on fact and data, you're going to sleep much easier at night. That's exactly right. I mean, you design these plans to withstand a lot of things, either a small market correction or a big one. And I think that, you know, if the plan is designed properly, this is just an annoyance and not a life-changing event. Once again, if you'd like to get your plan from Dave Lopez at ILG Financial, call 540-720-5656. That's 540-720-5656. Also requested online at ilgfinancial.com. And while you're there, I want you to uh, take a look at the book that Dave has uh, co-written too. It's called Mom a secret recipe for retirement success. It's authored with Jack Canfield, and you can download Dave Lopez's chapter and read it for yourself. Dave, always a pleasure to talk to you here on the podcast, Retire Your Way. Any closing thoughts about this market? No, I would just say be cognizant that this is not new. Even though the virus is different, the market has gone up and down time after time over the last hundred years, and it will continue to do so. So you have to build your plans knowing that is how the markets perform. And the second takeaway is build out a comprehensive plan, whether you're 50 years old or whether you're 60 or 70 or whether you're 80. We're glad to do it for you, but don't just close your eyes and hope things are going to work out. Let's build out a plan that at least gives you reasonable chance for success based on data and fact. That's what we're about here at ILG Financial, and we can do it for you, and we're glad to do it. Dave Lopez there of ILG Financial. Again, 540-720-5656 is the number to call if you'd like to sit down with Dave. Dave, always a pleasure to talk to you here on our podcast. I appreciate your time today, and I really appreciate everyone for listening to us. Join us next time. For now, I'm Jeff Shade for Dave Lopez. Have a great day. We'll talk again next time with another edition of Retire Your Way. The information provided is for educational purposes only and is not intended as investment advice for any individual or entity. All information contained herein is believed to be from reliable sources. However, we make no representation as to its completeness or accuracy. The views presented today are those of Dave Lopez and not necessarily represent the views of Alpha Star Capital Management, LLC. The opinions expressed are subject to change without notice and do not constitute financial, legal, or tax advice. Please consult your financial professional before executing any financial strategy. Investment advisory services offered through Alpha Star Capital Management, LLC, and SEC registered investment advisor. SEC registration does not constitute an endorsement of the firm by the commission, nor does it indicate that the advisor has attained a particular level of skill or ability. AlphaStar and ILG Financial LLC are independent entities.